What's the haps? I'm Morocco and today I'm going to be taking a first look at Riders of Icarus, which is a brand new MMO from Nexon. It's uh, predominantly about flying around on dragons, I gather. I played a game not that long ago that was supposed to be about flying on dragons and also supposed to be an MMO, and whilst it was ostensibly about flying around on dragons, it was garbage and not an MMO. This, hopefully, is supposed to be a little different. Uh, I'm getting a very uh, Skies of Arcadia vibe from the title screen here, which I dig. Flying sky whale and stuff going on there with like a house on its back. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. That's cool. Don't know what's going on with the title screen. Like so many MMOs before it, they kind of don't really have one. I've seen worse than this to be fair, but yeah, there's like... Why do no MMOs or very, very, very few MMOs actually bother to give you an options menu until you've actually created a character and gone through the tutorial and, you know, got into the game and everything. Why, why can we not just have the options menu here? This seems like the ideal place. Every other game in the world lets you tweak settings before you start playing. MMOs, no, it's just like, no, you no, you can't change the graphics until you've, you know, actually got into the world for some reason. I don't get that. Anyway, we have a couple servers available to us in the EU. We have Velzoroth and Koroshimo. Neither of those names mean anything to me, so I'm just going to go with Velzoroth, I guess. We have five classes. We look very, very shiny in some very, very elaborate armor. We can be a Berserker! Here is, I suppose we should have a look through these things rather than just clicking through them. Uh, Berserkers waiting to battle with little concerns of their own lives. Big, heavy-handed, double-hand, smash things to bits kind of character, I guess. Pretty easy to play, wide array of offensive skills. But requires careful management and timing to be effective. A Guardian is gonna be a sword and board, shieldy, tanky kind of guy, I guess. Also wearing some very shiny armor. What's the betting we don't get that armor and um, we start out in a couple of brown rags and our underpants? It seems likely. Guardians stand on the front line, shielding themselves in righteous power to keep up the fight long after others have fallen. Their prowess in single combat is legendary. It's a tank. Assassin! This is probably a stealth class, if there is a stealth class. It sounds like it would be a stealth class. It's your roguey kind of thing. Nimble warrior soaring into the of a lethal chain of killing bows and aerial combos before disappearing to a safe distance. Uh, whether that actually means stealth, whether disappearing means stealth or not, I don't know. You'd think they'd be a bit more upfront about stealth if it has stealth, so maybe it's not. Anyway, it's kind of hit and run kind of guy. We have a priest who is, well, a healer. What, what would you expect from a priest? Uh, we, they wield the power of light to protect allies and smite their enemies. Class Harness is a lord of strength to smite enemies and protect party members with a wide array of recovery and, and enhancement spells. And a wizard is going to be our mage. And he looks a... That, that's... That's... The funkiest looking mage I ever saw. He should be on the dance floor strutting some disco, not casting fireballs, gonna be honest. Look at that haircut, man! Look at that! Wow. He's funk wizard. Nice. Uh, wizards control the very fabric of nature, conjuring the elements to unleash massive destruction over wide areas of battlefield. The class commands powerful spells, assault enemies with the elements, stacking up powerful magical combos and relying on careful planning to survive. Uh, how easy is Assassin's play? Apparently not very easy, but I do dig Assassin-y kind of classes. So, have a look at that. Uh, what do the lady characters look like? Obviously showing a little more cleavage than the male counterparts, obviously, because MMOs, you know. Women obviously wouldn't wear armor into battle, would they? Look, yeah. <laughs> Chainmail bikinis! More chainmail bikinis. A skimpy cocktail dress, perfect for the battlefield. And... Also impractical, yeah, sure. All right, assassin it is, I suppose. Let's uh, have a look, see what our character creator's like. Character customization. This looks actually... This looks weirdly similar to... Christ, which, which character creation was it? It was a character creator I played a little while ago and I can't remember what it was. Um, Blade and Soul, maybe? Probably Blade and Soul, actually, yeah, because you got the, hey, look at your character in your underwear, for whatever reason. And then look at your character in some cool armor that you're not going to get until your level, whatever. That's, I guess, what we start out in, which, as I said, brown rags. Of course, on the lady characters, yes. Brown rags that are mostly not there because, yep. Obviously, she wouldn't want to be walking around in anything more than one half, vertically speaking, of a costume. Yeah, of course. Uh, we've got some presets, I guess. I guess we get to tweak some of these. Don't know which one we like to work from. I guess we, uh, I'm guessing this is going to be a fairly in-depth kind of thing. Um, 
Kind of digging purple over there. Purple's cool. We got a whole bunch of faces to choose from. I'm going to bomb through this fairly quickly, I suppose. I don't really want to sit around messing with this for ages. A uh, good variety of insanely bright hairstyles. Obviously, it's an MMO. Why would you not? I don't object to this. I'm always kind of disappointed when you don't have insanely bright hairstyles. That's more my kind of color. Uh, stubble. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, maybe I don't need stubble on my Lady Assassin. Although, that would be hilarious if I actually could have it. Come on. Give me, give me a chance to have stubble. Come on. Equality. Equal rights for everybody. I want stubble. Uh, build. Really tall. T build is more about height than anything here, isn't it? It's just what it is. Uh, guess default. Skin turn. Sure. Uh, eyebrows are gonna... Can I, can I have them to match my... Can I, can I actually see my face? They're very subtle and you're not really gonna notice them. I really don't need to dwell too long on, over this, do I? Eyes! A uh, vibrant green. Well, they can match my hairstyle too. Or some sort of evil red kind of thing. We got an evil red thing going on. That's colourful. If you like colours, there are colours here. Uh, I got a green. Mouth, obviously, you got a whole bunch of lipsticks which are not quite as vibrant and varied. They're just... whatever. Standard lipsticks, I guess. Tattoos! Oh my god, where, where, do, we, where do we wear tattoos? Don't... oh, are they on my... Am I, oh, we're getting face tattoos like the classy lady we are. Okay, cool. Sure. Well, they're all looking kind of tacky, if I'm honest. That one's just goth as hell. Yeah, that's the most reasonable. You know what? Maybe I don't go with tattoos. They're a little bit tacky, I think. It's not that one. That's kind of that's actually kind of elven, I suppose. Uh, that I can't even see for my hairstyle. Uh, no tattoo. And then a whole bunch of sliders that I really don't think I can be bothered with right now. Uh, and we're not tweaking my sliders to that extent. We shall just call this character Maroka and be done with it. Can we verify it? The name is available. Good to know. Let's head on in. Maroka level one is not in a guild, surprisingly enough, but she is going to play the game. Ooh, we have two things. Standard mode, classic Momorpaga, choose a target and hit hotkeys. So, those are those are good for your wizards and priests, I suppose. Um, yeah, your standard spell slingers just click on the thing and hit the buttons till it dies. Or if you're any kind of stabby stabby, you've got kind of the more modern Momorpaga, which is your action-y Momorpaga, the... Um, I know they didn't popularize it, but I guess what you'd call the wild star controls. I know there were plenty of MMOs that did it before Wildstar, but it's the one I'm most familiar with. So, I'm, I guess I'm playing an action thing, so I guess we do an action class. Let's head on in. I presume those can be changed, and it would be intriguing to see how well Light Troll set. Because, obviously other games that have those kind of options still allow spell slingers and stuff to use kind of action control schemes. You can still aim your spells and sling them at your opponents. So it seems like almost that kind of dumbs down the mage class a little bit. A long loading screen where we get to watch a rabbit dance. And that was refreshingly brief for an intro cutscene to an hour oh, these days. Normally, yeah. Normally that goes on for a little while. Okay. I can move. I can look. I can zoom. I can't zoom because we're in a very enclosed space. But I guess I can zoom a little bit. Oh, that was, like, really easy. You just, like, melted the bars. Uh, right. Give me a weapon. So far, so standard MMO. This way. Keep that weapon ready. I'm wondering... Mo mostly I'm wondering about how long the game makes you wait to get dragons. See if you can break that lock. I mean, dragons are the main selling point of this game. Let's be honest. 
Uh, so we can just do that. Cool. Oh, good. There's gold spammers already. That's hilarious. The game has been open for an hour and a half to the public. There are already gold spammers spamming announcements on the server. That's fantastic. That's hilariously awful and fantastic. Um, so, if I'm Rogi, do I get to stab people in the back? Uh, I guess he's not tough enough to warrant stabbing in the back. Okay. Uh, so... I guess the important question is, can I block this guy? Can we... No, if I, no, if I click on it, I literally just try and talk to them. Okay. No blocking. Not immediately obvious. Uh, settings? No? Information familiars, activities, social? Parties, raids, guilds, friends, action. Blocked. Oh, there is a block list. Okay. DFGSG. Great. Confirmed. That is the block process. That is an awful, awful block process. That is a disastrously bad block block process. Not to mention that I still think that these things are should, should these should be automated. Server side, the devs should just filter this thing, these things out before they ever get to the public. It shouldn't be the public's job to turn off the spammers manually one by one as they pop up in this eternal game of whack-a-mole. But if they have to do that, at least I'd prefer to be able to just click on their name and say, this guy's a spammer, block them. Instead of having to go through the type in their name to manually block this person. This is clearly intended for more, like, harassment and stuff. You're like, oh, this person has been kind of a douche uh, for a great length of time. And I wish to block them now. But, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, really what it's getting used for is spammers. Uh, so I have a bunch of abilities I've not tested in any way, shape, or form. And what are these down here? Mount slots? Class slots? So I guess mount slots are... I guess they're... Probably going to be a fairly heavy feature given flying dragons and whatnot. Uh, what have I got? I have a flash cut. Damage on a short, shortish cooldown. Pretty short cooldown, 1.6 seconds. Uh, attack is actually a toggle, which I hadn't picked up on. I've just been clicking to attack, so that's kind, kind of wrong. I just need to click on something and then she'll just automatically stab. Uh, dagger rush is 7 second cooldown for less damage than the other thing? What? No, but it does debuff them. It decreases their accuracy for a bit. Cool. And chain pull is throw a spike chain to pull you to the enemy. Activate the skill after a nimble dash to add a stun effect. Cool. I guess I don't have a nimble dash yet, but sure. Now I've got this flashing down here, which must be a whole bunch of tutorials. Some skills can be used several times in a row. They are combos. The higher the combos, the more effective it becomes. Interesting. Okay. And then these buffs up here don't suffer dire wounds after dying. This is basically telling me I'm in tutorial zone and I probably can't die too much here. Okay. Onwards, let us get tutorialized. Free from the from the harassment of spammers, I guess. Let's just stab things. There we go. That was that was more effective. Actually using some things. Do I need to get this guy down? Hi, do you wanna can I can I cut you down? Or do these guys have to do it? Okay. You didn't cut him down. Gotta use magic for everything. That guy just loves magic. Where's the princess? I'm sorry. I failed. Rondo took her. We were taking the princess to a prophet. She was supposed to study Alora's relic to unlock its powers. The rain should have masked our tracks, but the Frost Guard knew exactly where we were.
before you sold yourself! <clears throat> Rondo! Stay away from the princess! Stay down, Tortoise. I'll be sure to make note of your bravery. Come, princess. We have business. I won't let you take her! Damon, we need to get word to the king. Okay, so the voice acting is clearly laughably awful, so that's a thing. Um, some weird audio issues in the like, dialogue keeps getting cut off halfway through a sentence. The first time was like during the word bastard, so I was like, is, is this censorship? Are you censoring the word bastard while having the word bastard written on the screen? Because I've heard cartoons use the word bastard before, so it's clearly not that, you know, bad a word as far as they go. I don't think the too many people are going to take issue with that one, but then everything else kind of got cut off as well. Hey, big guy with the big hammer. Your parole has been denied. Not gonna lie, that sounded like some voice acting I would do. <laughs> Which is not a glowing endorsement, by the way. Okay. Use my abilities to great effect. Alrighty. Going for the stone! These intro fights are always ridiculous. I wanna hit this! I'm trying to hit the stone! He keeps trying to target- he keeps running towards Warden Rex. How do I untarget Warden Rex? I have to- right. You have to hit escape to do- to untarget him before I can actually hit it- hit this. Which is awkward if you want to change targets in the middle of combat. Doesn't seem to be a terribly easy way to do that. I guess now we kill the big guy. I keep toggling attack. There must be a way to turn that off. Surely. Surely. I, I couldn't envision that there wouldn't just be a way to just keep mashing click, 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 like every other game. I understand they're probably trying to do it a little better than every other game, but. Hmm. It's a little clunky. I want dragons, though. Dragons are what I'm after. We've seen one dragon, it was cool. I want my own dragon now. Can I have my own dragon? Of course, this is an MMO, so we're going to start out with the raggedy leather dragon, not the big ass glowing cool ice dragon, presumably. That was faster than I expected. Okay, so our dialogue was straight up missing. Well, I guess we get to fly on the thing now. Whoa, Pegasus. Okay. This way. Uh, the controls are interesting. Um, it's it feels kind of like tank controls, but it's not. The horse has kind of a turning circle. I mean, I guess I'm used to uh, MMOs with mounts that literally just move exactly the same as a person does, just faster. Which I guess is the thing. Is that an audio bug or are you just hammering your way out of here? Can we just get out of here so that you can stop hammering at things? Okay. There was some sort of aerial controls showed up at the bottom there. We fly? Yeah, we fly! Woo! Fly, okay. Flying mount at level 1 is a cool way to do a game. That's uh, <laughs> I guess they realize what people want in the game. It's like, people like flying mounts. How about we give them a flying mount right from the start? How about that? So I guess, is that my altimeter at the bottom? Yeah, okay, you can't just... 
Oh man, I spent far too much time on a flying mountain in WoW, and the controls are really alien to me. Space is to go up. Uh, w and spacebar is gliding. Hold W, then double tap and hold spacebar. Alright, so that's basically fast travel. Glide actually... Am I descending? Oh, I am very slowly. I actually, I actually descend slower when I'm not gliding. So you l descend slower and travel faster by gliding. Okay, cool. It's gonna take a bit of relearning how to actually fly on a flying mount. over Bracar Forest? Yes, sir. It's not an official route, but it should save time. If we're lucky. Enemy attack! We're going down! Hold on! And so we enter the rookie zone, I guess. Welcome to level one. Welcome to daily login rewards. What do we get for our daily login rewards? Daily reward events continues until seven month, 26 day. I believe those things have names. Seven month. It's the 26th of seven month. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Uh, which seems like that's doing it kind of like Blade and Soul did, where this board, you kind of have to get as much stuff as you can before it runs out. However, bearing in mind that we're on the whatever th of July, the 6th of July is what we're on today. Thank you, phone. Uh, we're on the 6th of July and the this is carrying on until the 26th of July, presuming that's what 7 month is. Um, there are only 20 days worth of rewards we can get there. The thing goes up to day 28. There's also the Founders Pack that you could get a week ago, I guess, which was the pay us $25 if you want to play this game a week early kind of deal that they did, um, or $90 if you have more money than cents to buy for, to spend on cosmetics for a game you haven't played yet. I will never get Founders Packs. I don't get them at all. Um, so, yeah, that I guess they could have had an extra seven days, theoretically. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe the numbers don't add up exactly like that. Maybe it works out that there were 28 days for the founders to get all the things. And they would have access to an aerial familiar skin lucky box. Woo! Prize boxes. Everybody loves prize boxes, right? Uh, ground familiar skin lucky box uh, is possible for me to get, maybe? No, it wouldn't be, actually. We would just stop just shy of that. So okay, only, only people who pay $25 or more get the cool things. Sorry, everybody else has to wait until it rolls over. And then maybe if they log in every day through eight months, uh, then yeah, maybe they can get things. For now, I get health potions. Except the item cannot be redeemed at this time. Oh, you know what that is? Oh, it's not just a login reward. It's a playing reward. Oh, that's a new way to do it. Normally games are just like, hey, you logged into the game, congratulations, have things. No, this is log into the game and play for at least 30 minutes, or you can't have your stuff. Wow. I mean, I understand because the login rewards kind of incentivizes people launching the game, cl clicking on the thing, and then quitting and going away. I've well, honestly, I've done that plenty of times myself with various things. I've just been like, well, I don't really feel like playing the game today, but I want the stuff, you know, so I'll have the free stuff and, you know, I'll play the game when I feel like playing it. I'll just have more stuff. Uh, in this instance, no, if you, you want it, you've actually got to be logged into the game for half an hour. 
which I suppose, yeah, I mean, if you're in the, already in the game and you got to wait half an hour, you might as well play it while you're here, right? Hey, megaphones allowing us to spend things. Cool. I don't know what any of these things are. I know what a health potion is. I can probably figure that out. Megaphone, I'm pretty sure I know what they are. I've seen them before. I don't know what any of the other things are, though. Seven, level 75 Elite Tempering Stone 3-pack. Boosts my stuff, I guess. Uh, let's have a quick nosy through some of the first couple quests, and then we'll wrap things up. Uh, so, Tortoise, hi. Uh, why do have to be back our forest? This place is calling with braggons. Whatever a braggon is. Next time someone suggests a shortcut, I'm going to cave their head in. Uh, we need to talk to Tortoise. Yay! Level 2 for doing that. GG! And that opens... Oh god, every time you get Achieve, it opens the Achieve dialogue. I mean... Uh, that seems like I could get... Depending how frequently dishes Achieves out, that might get annoying. I don't know. Alright, find Crow. Crow. Sure. I will talk to Crow. He's right here. That was hard to find. Sure. Hi there. Do I have to stand in front of you to chat or is it not close enough? Ooh, there are events going on as well. Uh, let's see up about. Got a lot of work to do. Is the first thing collecting things or killing things? A little of both. Search the crates for things and kill some boars. Kill thousands upon thousands of boars. Rena needs medicine for the wounded. And um, what is the event? You have a tough fight ahead, Rion. That don't. You don't have to go it alone. I have something that might help. To celebrate the open beta. <laughs> It says breaking the fourth wall. You couldn't have put that in the context of the game, really. Uh, celebrate the open beta. We're offering a gift to all our players from now until maintenance on month 720. Uh, talk to Crow again to complete the quest and get your reward, which is a dragon sh dragon fire shoulder raven. Which sounds kind of cool. And it would be cooler if everybody else didn't already have it and was walking around with a dragon fire shoulder raven. Which, as, as far as things go, that's a pretty satisfying thing to say. It's a dragon fire shoulder raven. I want my Dragonfire Shoulder Raven. Yes! I've got a Dragonfire Shoulder Raven. <laughs> Look at my Dragonfire Shoulder Raven! It's actually a Dragonfire Shoulder Raven. Sweet! I'm going to keep saying Dragonfire Shoulder Raven. Alright, uh, so I'm going to kill boars now, I suppose, is what it wants me to do. Let's get rid of the tutorial, because I know how to accept a quest. There are many, many boars. Let us go stab them and open some boxes. As is tradition in MMOs. Open boxes, stab boars. It's like I'm playing World of Warcraft all over again. Oh, I did note that that was a... You can just, you know, hold down F to get all the loot. Which is, which is nice to see. Uh, so, well, not, not necessarily hold down, but F to open. And then F to take all the things. So I don't need to faff about with clicking on things. Some games have done. Loot, loot. All well, these things are trivial. I guess we're done. Uh, first hunt, more chieves. It's not gonna pop open the chief. Okay, it didn't pop open the chief award thing. It didn't pop up the chief interface, which is okay. I'm glad. I'm glad it's not gonna do that every single time. It seemed like it was going to. Uh, so now the injured people can be uninjured. Seems like they've already got enough medicine from everybody else, but I guess they can be treated some further. Uh, and in reward for my healing them, they're going to give me medicine? Why did you have medicine? Why are you giving me medicine? Surely you needed the medicine. Ah, uh, MMO logic. Uh, treat the wounded. There are a couple of them out there. Because uh, we're in the newbie zone, none of the enemies actually attack us yet. So, let's do that. Let's go around, heal up all the peeps. You're not done for, sir. You're okay. And you're okay. So, it just gave you just a taste of the whole mount thing then. The whole, hey, you've got a Pegasus. Do you like riding the Pegasus? Because we're taking the Pegasus away in a minute. You're going to get to fly the Pegasus for about 30 seconds. Uh, I wonder when we actually do get it. That's going to be interesting. Mm, so a few less grim faces and a few more working legs. I think we're almost ready to move on. Good. Wait, we have to go to Timberlake? Justin Timberlake? Where's Justin Timberlake? Let's go talk to Foreman Justin Timberlake. Uh, the fire is spreading far faster than I'd hoped. I sent the logging camp Foreman out to get some mourner, but one man can't stop a fire this size. Find him and help him beat back the blaze. The back the flames from our crash. Where is Justin? Where's he hanging out? Behind this tree, I think. Do I have a sprint? This is something I need, I wish to know. Shift is not a sprint. Control is not a sprint. 
I'm not sure what else would be a sprint. Double tap W? No? Double tap space worked when I was mounted. No, I guess we don't get a sprint. Or don't get a sprint yet? At least. And there's some funny frame rate choppiness going on around there. It's not running at a phenomenal frame rate, but again, big open world eats type stuff. It's not running drastically off from any other MMO I played, so I'm not going to hold it too much against it. Smooth-ish, but not 60. It's kind of where we're at. Uh, there's no time for chit chat. Help me fight fires. Now we can still save part of the woods. Take a bucket, fill it at the spring. Oh, he has a thing. Harrying hogs. I guess blues must be side quests, right? The fires the boars acting crazy. Can you defeat feral boars for some gloves? Okay. Was that a feral boar? That wasn't a feral boar, was it? That was just an ordinary boar, I guess. Or are they all? That's a feral, right. Do I get credit for that? I don't think I get credit for that. Uh, I can do this. Woo! Okay, that's pretty cool. I hadn't done. I hadn't had an opportunity to do that yet, really. I guess I could have done it on the balls earlier, but the early fights are just like, yeah, there's a guy in a room. Fight the guy in the room. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's, it's very similar to kind of Warriors Charge in WoW, but uh, it's way cooler. <laughs> the cooldown, especially when I'm wanting to fight things so frequently over here, could stand to be a little shorter. I will grant you. Well, there we go. We have harried the hogs. So I guess I should. Oh, he's attacking me. Are you attacking me? I didn't think you were going to attack me. Oh, okay then. How do I gather water? Do I have to... Oh, I have to click the action button. If there's a, like a quest action button, I don't know what it is. Because... Uh, that's... It wasn't labelled on the screen there. It's something like Wildstar, it's always like, yeah, press this key in order to do the quest things. Didn't tell me what it was. I guess if I were to peruse the settings menu, maybe there's some key bindings that would be able to tell me what it is. Key bindings say um Don't say a lot. Combat party marks basic slots. I think I'm getting into the dregs. Mm, not seeing it at a casual glance. No. Okay. No. I guess I gotta. I gotta. I, I gotta. Gotta hold Alt to get control of my mouse and click on it every time, which is a faffy way of doing it, I suppose. I've harried the hogs. Great. And I've got the bucket of water. I can probably figure out what the next bit is, right? Do I have to douse the fire? Yeah, I do. For some reason, the the the, the whole forest fire thing here is, you know. Entirely contained to logs and whatever that bundle of stuff was, like hay or something. It's not, you know, you would have thought the trees would be a bigger risk. Could you want to put out the trees? Are the trees burning? No, the trees aren't burning. The trees aren't a problem. No, there's just these very, very neatly stacked piles of logs that are burning. And I'm guessing he only wants me to put out two of the logs again. Huh, yeah, Forest Fire 2 objectives completed. And the only way to get rid of this tutorial is to hold alt again. It'd be nice if there was just a way to dismiss that. I know, I know. Complete. Oh, I'm keep clicking. I'm clicking the wrong thing. That was. But his dialogue goes crazy when you click on all the things. Oh, uh, driven the lack of local wildlife out. Uh, talk to tortoise. He's just over here. I may leave this here. We're on, we're into definitely into quest territory. Okay, escape does clear that mercifully. That's okay. But yeah, I'm going to carry on and see if we can get some flying mounts. But so far, so MMO. Uh, it's a fairly pretty looking MMO, which promises potentially an interesting. Oh, I have a double jump. I know I had a double jump. The double jump is on a cooldown. Huh. Okay. Can't just double jump at will, but I have one. Uh, oh yeah, when I double jump, there's a thing in the corner that's like... I can double jump once every three seconds, right? Yeah. It's a very pretty MMO, but so far it's not breaking any molds, and I guess what it's prom the moldy breaking bits that it's promising are kind of dragons. And, well, we don't get dragons right away. 
we get Pegasus for 30 seconds. So I'm going to have to play some of this and see if within the first 10 hours or so we actually get any dragons and then I can get back to you and say, hey, by the way, yeah, the game actually kind of does have dragons, which is cool. If I haven't got a dragon within the first 10 hours, I can tell you for now it's not going to get a terribly glowing review because it's just going to be 10 hours of very average generic MMO I've had to play, I suppose. But there we go, I'm going to leave that there for now. I hope that's been an interesting look at the start of Rises of Icarus, if that's something you want to dip a toe into. As I say, this is out free to play on Steam right now. It's uh, open beta, it starts literally today. And yeah, I'm going to play some more of this and I will report back later once I've explored the things. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I've been Maroka. I will see you next time.